joining us in this Oracle Mobile Cloud Service episode, where today you're going to get a chance to see all the common code techniques that you'll use in Node.js, the sort of stuff you'll be using every day. So thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Muir from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. Now, in a previous episode, we discussed the role of custom APIs in MCS, and the typical usage being a mobile client will make a call to a REST API of a custom API exposed through a mobile backend. And then Node code, as part of the MCS implementation, will then do the real work of handling the request, possibly calling a connector, and then directly calling a remote service. And then it will receive a response, potentially shaping the data and sending this back to the mobile client. This is a very typical interaction. Now, I'm betting at this point you're going, Chris, I've got it. We understand the purpose of custom APIs. Can you go on and start describing Node in a little bit more detail? Okay, so in order to start out looking at Node, I want to actually visualize what you'll be doing in Node before we look at code. And this will make the overall structure of Node and your code easier to understand. So a pretty common JavaScript scaffold in Node can be visualized as one or more express routers for our custom API REST endpoints that we previously defined. Now, each router will have its own function to handle the request and the response. So if we drill down and just consider one of these functions, it is designed to accept the request from the mobile client and then do a bunch of processing and upon completion, return a response to the mobile client. Now, of course, you can virtually code anything in Node. And so I guess maybe a question you might have is, hey, Chris, what can we do inside of Node? Can Oracle give us any guidance on the typical structure and purpose of our code inside a customer API? Well, the first thing you're likely to do is to interrogate the request, receive any information you need from the payload sent from the mobile client, such as any of the URL query parameters, HP parameters, or a HP body with its various data payload if supplied. Now from there, you'll possibly call, well, a MCS connector to call a remote service or potentially call another custom API to reuse its logic. Now given a response from the connector or custom API, you, might, you may optionally shape the return result into something more suitable for the mobile client. And then finally, you'll send the response back to the mobile client itself. Now of course, while doing all this, you might interleave the code with log messages to assist debugging the code via the MCS Diagnostics user interface. Now, again, you might do lots of other things. Node is a very flexible and powerful language, but this set of typical steps allows us now to explore various code examples showing you how this is done to build out your Node skills. All right, so let's begin exploring our code examples by talking about the resource routers or what we call handlers sometimes to start with. Now, in previous episodes, we talked about a fictitious doctor surgery app for managing, amongst other things, the clinic's doctors, their availability, surgery rooms, and their equipment, and so on. And this was implemented through a custom API with the following REST endpoints. Now, we also showed you how to download the custom API JavaScript scaffold, and in doing so, the associated zip file, including a JavaScript file, that would look approximately like this. Now, in this code here, you can see that the three associated resource routers that map to each of the resources and methods you define in your API. So we've one for doctors, rooms, and room name with their internal MCS URIs of the form forward slash mobile slash custom, the surgery API custom API name, then the resource name such as doctors, as you can see here. And as you can see, all of them are for a get call. If we added other methods, they would appear as separate routers for put, post, delete, head, and so on. Now you might have noticed in an example that we have support both a get call to doctors and doctors with a URL query parameter available. In terms of the relating routers that we can see here, as both of these those calls are to the same resource, only one router gets defined. If you then want to extract the URL query parameter, you do that in the routers function code and we'll show you how to do this in a moment. Now, for the resource rooms, we have two routers, one for the rooms resource and a second handler for the nested resource, where the room name is a variable value supplied by the caller. Now, the syntax to specify the room name as a variable part of the path is colon, then the path variable name. However, if we return to the MCS UI designer where we define the nested endpoint, the path variable name is surrounded by ellipses. Now, it's a minor discrepancy caused by the fact that RAML, which defines the endpoints, uses the ellipsis syntax, which is different from Node's express syntax, where the variable name leads with a colon. So taking a little side note in terms of the routers, which come from Node's express module, it's worth noting that the routers support pattern matching and wildcards. 
So rather than going through lots of examples, let's just look at very three quick short ones. And the first example you can see here accepts an optional character in the URI. The second example supports repeating characters. And the third example, which is more common, uses a wildcard, which accepts any combination of characters. Now, that wildcard one is a good example to see because you will see other examples on the internet, express examples where they're using the wildcards, where rather than defining multiple routers, they'll just have one router with a wildcard to capture multiple different URI calls coming in. Now, it's also worth noting all the examples I've got here come straight from the Node Express documentation pages, which is a great resource. So I do highly encourage you to go and check out the Express documentation to learn more about Express beyond these videos. All right, so let's continue with our typical node examples. Now, given a mobile client has called us, our custom API, and has been routed to a specific router within our JavaScript scaffold, it will also be supplied a REST request object. Now, the Express documentation pages have really good documentation on the object's properties and functions, but let's look into what the request object is and what we can do with it. So amongst different properties, the request object contains potentially URL query parameters, HTTP parameters, and a payload that is actually passed from the mobile client. So how do we actually get at these in the request object? Now, remembering in our previous episodes, we'll remember that the doctor's endpoint accepts a URL query parameter called, well, available. To access that in our Node.js code, it really is quite simple. We simply just write rec.query.available. So note here how the language is dynamic and allows us to access parts of the request in line with native JavaScript syntax. We don't need to make a function call passing in the available uh, variable name as a string. In terms of our room name endpoint, to access the variable path name, we write rec.params.roomName. Okay, again, pretty simple. As such, if the caller made a call to slash mobile slash custom Dr. Surgery API rooms and then ECG room, the path variable here would carry the value ECG room as a string. Now, if we want to access the body of the request, and the request body is a type application JSON or XWWW form URL encoded, the syntax is also fairly easy. We simply call rec.body. Now, overall, the rec object also supports a number of functions, such as in this example here, where we can call rec.get, then as a string in brackets, a HP header name to retrieve the value for that particular HP header. Pretty simple, huh? Now we're not done, there's more examples to come. I want you to go and watch the next video in this series to get all the node examples that you need.